You know, so we want to remember that uh, it is during uh, this time. Kila moja wetu tunapaswa kujipea na kwa anjiri ya wengine. We need in this country to give ourselves out so that again we can be seen to be concerned with others. We want to encourage those who are leaders in this country that it is important that we offer ourselves for the benefit of others. We are celebrating Easter when our doctors are not really uh, working as they are supposed to. They are on strike. And we want to remind all the doctors in this country that life is very variable. When life is gone, you cannot revert it. Irrespective of all what may be surrounding our lives, we change and we ask our doctors to think about uh, Kenyans a time like this. Again, also we want to change and to really challenge the government that the way to go is to embrace dialogue so that this country uh, can be able to move. So we ask those who are in authority, dialogue with the doctors so that humanity in this country may not continue suffering. Siku ya leo ni siku ambao tumekuja kusherekea pamoja katika kanisa hili letu kuu uh, la mtakatifu Paulo uh, kuvufuka kwa bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Kuvufuka kwake kuna maana mingi katika maisha yetu. Kwa sababu uh, kule kuvufuka kwake na kutezwa kwake tunatuonyesha upendo mkuu ambao Mungu alikuwa nao kati ya wanaandamu. Na ni katika kuko kufa na kufufuka sisi tunaimishwa ya kwamba tukiwa wa Kristo tuendelee kupendana kama vile vile Mungu na Kristo vile walivyotupenda. Na pili ni kuwa sisi tumeitwa kuwa watoto wa Mungu kwa sababu bila Kristo basi hatungepata kuwa na hiyo kibari. Kwa hivyo kufa kwake na kufufuka kwake tunatuleta katika ulithi wa ufarume wa Mungu kama watoto wake. Ni wakati huu tunakumbuka ya kwamba Kristo aliwaambia wanafunzi wake wawe na amani. Amani hiyo pia tuindumise katika familia zetu na katika maisha yetu. Na zaidi ya yote ni kupeana maisha yetu kwa Mwenyezi Mungu. Kwa sababu Kristo alijipeana kwanza na sisi pia inafaa tujipeane kwake. Na hivyo basi tusherekee uh, pasaka hii kiwa na ali hiyo ya kujua Kristo alikuja ili tuwe na uzima na tuwe na uzima kabisa katika maisha haya na maisha ya siku zijazo